Hey peeps, I had me some fun yesterday and I had to share it. It's not just yesterday, it was yesterday and the day before. Um, remember the video I made, why am I getting all of this aging going on after I became vegan? Um, I just want to say that I, I think I have a little more understanding of it. You know, it is so important to be around older women. So I was around, an, I'm 60 something, and I was around a lady um, two days, well, three days ago at work who was 91. And she was sharp too, good looking lady. And um, she was saying, you're young. I said, uh-uh, I'm 60 something. And she said, that's young. She said, when I was 60 something, I thought I was the stuff. You know, I'm just saying that for the video. I promised a quick person. But anyway, she thought she was the stuff. So she said she had no aches and pains. Um, life was just good. You know, she got around. She did what she wanted to do. And so, you know, it is good to talk to older women. Hold on. Yeah, I got to answer that. This is my husband. Hello? Honey, please say something. Anyway, I know it's going to end. I know it's going to ring again. <clears throat> I'm going to take it off the hook. Okay. <laughs> now he's going to call the cell phone, though. I need to take that off the hook. Anyway, um, it is great to be around older yes, women. It is. It is great to be around older women because you can learn something. And I think everybody, I think all women who has reached any age, like... <clears throat> 40-year-olds should mentor 20-year-olds, you know, or whatever age group. We all should be mentoring each other. Um, I After that lady that I had who said um, that she thought she was the stuff when she was 60, after that, then I had a lady yesterday who really brought it. And so we, I was doing her hair here at home, and um, she started telling me, you know, all about how she dressed at 60 and how she thought she was the crap, too. And she was saying that um, how important it is to take care of yourself. But more importantly, she was just a strong woman. And she was talking about women in church. How that... Um, how that some women who feel that they are strong, try to take advantage of younger women who are not strong or women are of the same age who are not strong and just, you know, try to run over them and make them look small and feel small. And that's not what life is all about, whether you're Christian or not. I think that you don't have to be a Christian to have morals, you know. He was talking about how that old lady be doing this with her long old finger. Come here. Anyway, um, I just got on to say, you know, that it's great to be around older women because they can lead the way and kind of tell you what to expect from yourself. Like the older lady that I was with a couple of days ago was saying that she was so healthy at the age of 60, feeling no pains like me. I don't feel nothing except when I go walking, which I'm getting ready to do right now. When I go walking, my, my ankles, you know, they'll give me a little bit of a problem in my knee. But, hey, um, you know, I just rest and it goes away. But now that she's 91, I noticed her. I knew her five years ago. And she has been in the hospital and she's lost a lot of weight. So she was saying, you know, how the body will do. So... I was planning 
on not being vegan anymore. But like I said in the earlier video, my husband was supportive of me staying a vegan, even though it's aging me, because it's better for me inside to keep my body alkaline and um, just to make an environment inside that doesn't promote disease. And I just, you know, I guess he, he, he's starting to see the benefit and he knows that it'll keep you around longer. So I'm back on my vegan journey again. It's quite a journey, you know, sometimes up, sometimes down. Um, just like losing weight, losing weight is not a straight thing. Well, okay, I'm constantly losing. It's more like I'm losing. Whoops, made a slip. And then you get back on path. Because I remember when I first started, years ago, when I first started trying to conquer my weight issues, I had lost eight pounds in one week. And I thought everything was going to go smooth or whatever. Then one time I started off losing weight. I weighed 193 when I started. And then I started, it was a three-month journey. And so... I weighed 193 when I began, and I started eating vegetables, eating vegetables and fruit, vegetables and fruit. And at the end of those three months, I had gone down a few dress sizes. And I got on the scale to reveal the real truth. And like I said, I weighed 193 in the first place. I got on the scale, and I had weighed 192. And I said, oh, forget the whole gym shot. I wish like hell I would have kept going. It's better to lose inches than it is to lose weight. When I lost that eight pounds, it didn't mean a thing. It was probably water weight. I was with Weight Watchers. When I did it on my own and was exercising and eating correctly, I was going down dress sizes. Maybe eventually the scale would have gone down. I'm on this journey now and I've lost a few pounds and I know it. I don't know how much, but uh, I'm gonna stay on the journey. Because I can feel that I'm that this big old stomach is getting smaller. And um, I just want to let you know that I'll be introducing a couple of people onto my videos soon. Saturday, I have a man who I respect a lot. His name is Charles Fair. And he'll be on the video. And you know, I've already introduced Sigri. Sigri is a woman who made a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And she wants to teach other black people how to get their coins. Charles Fair is a man who has always stood up for black rights. So I have a lot of respect for him. He was marching before marching was cool. And third of all, I have someone I'm getting ready to introduce, and that's my daughter. My daughter weighed 450 pounds. And she's lost 150 pounds. So she's very excited about that. and She wants to share. And so, hey, I, I'm going to introduce her to my channel. And then maybe she'll create her own channel and tell how she did it. Because I got her be started on being a vegan. But she surpassed me. She is really into healing and um, using herbal uh, things, uh, not so much as herbs that you buy at a store, but uh, eating fresh vegetables and fruit. And um, my sister used to work, she, my sister lived in Rochester, New York, a lot of her young life. And she, um, she worked at a herbal medicine place or however you call it, where they created herbs in a capsule form. And she said, don't kid yourself. She said, all of that stuff has drugs in it. <laughs> so I just thought about that a couple days ago. And so I'm not going to mess with no pills or nothing. I'm just going to go like my daughter, just go straight vegetables. I'm on my way to the store now to get some and to get some exercise in. I did a lady's hair last night. I had to walk before I did her hair. Oh, tired. And so um, I'm going to try to get in some a little walk in the day. I've got to be at work soon. Okay, guys, take care. Love you all. Wish you all the best. Bye-bye.